So, just another quick video showing a few new features that's been added to the info pane in Virtual TDA 2021, uh, latest release, public release, which is build 6106. Uh, so, what are those features? Well, if you open the info pane down here, that always reflects the selected track over here. Uh, and that pretty much looks how, how it's always looked. And of course, you can you can change what you what, what you see here by changing the fields that's shown. But uh, one of the new features are that that if you have an empty year slot and you click that, it'll ask you if you want to uh, look into a Discogs to find that year. And if Discogs can find it, it'll fill it out like it did here, 2013. And um, so that's a little extra feature. And that actually also works that you can see over here. This is this is not a, a, a file on my laptop. It's actually a an online file. So it also works with the online files. You can, so as of course it just gets added to the virtual DJ database. So it works the next time you look at the file. Another new feature over here is if I pick another track, like for instance, this one, you can see that uh, that has uh, been a track that I've played a few times. It was first seen here, it was last played here. But if you click, uh, for instance, last played, or if you click play count, you can actually search in history of playlists. So history is also playlists and see where this file is placed. So we should click that, it'll tell me that this was last seen in this in this playlist, which is actually a history playlist. So you actually have a direct lookup feature on the info pane if you click the dates or the file count down here. And the last the last feature I want to mention is that you know how have a a waveform feature in the pre-listen, but it takes a little work to get it to run. So if I go into options. Yeah. Sorry. And then I uh, put it down here so we can see it. And I look into math engine. That has to be on. This is a a feature uh, for uh, for for the for the math engine, which means it's a feature for the stem separation. So it's the whole paradigm about. Uh, getting stems generated because there's now now a new feature where the actual waveforms get stored in a little database uh, inside uh, the virtual inside virtual DJ. It's actually in a little database uh, in in uh, in the cache folder under Documents Virtual DJ. That doesn't really matter, but that means you have to have Math Engine enabled somehow in some sort of form. Apart from that, you also have to use it so. Wave use frequency that has to be set to no, so it has to be uh, the the waveform has to be using the new uh, the new feature of getting it from the stem separation feature. Apart from that, you also have to uh, enable the experimental skin engine. So you have to set that directly to yes, because this is uh, something that's been added to the, to to the skin, so it's been can be shown. So I set that to yes now, and uh, then it actually should work. So if you get a new file fully loaded, which means it'll become fully stem separated, and it'll save under these circumstances, it will save the uh, the waveform into the database. It takes a little while uh, for it to do, to do that in this day. You can't see that, but it's still kind of processing it. And you then move into the file again. You now have on the preview up here, you have the waveform in the background. That's pretty cool when you want to find out what you want to pre listen to while selecting your next track. That's a very cool new feature. It's a little hard to get it running, as you saw. But uh, I assume that'll be changed in the future, so it'll pretty much just start working. It also doesn't really work if you already pre-computed your stems before this feature was added. So that's a little bit of work there. But once it's up and running, it'll become default at some point. 
and you won't really have to worry about it. So you can right now do a little work and get it running. You can just wait and I assume that a little further down in time, a few more builds and they'll, this will basically always be here. But it's at least it's there now if you want it and it's pretty cool. So that was it for this video.